Welcome back guys. In this Adobe XD short tip, I will show you guys how to loop an animation on a button click in Adobe XD. I have this button component in here. By the way, if you want to know how to create button components with this hover effect, you can find it in this tutorial here. All right, so we have this button in here and a graphic on top. So when I click on this button, you can see the animation is uh, continuously looping until I go back and stop the animation. This is a very simple animation I have created and you can loop anything you want like this for your projects. Principles are going to be same and you can use the same principles to make your loops. All right, guys, so in here I have this uh, hammer design. I have designed this in Illustrator. You can design this in XD also. And I just copy and paste inside the uh, XD and you can see everything come at paths and groups. And we just group them together as one object. You can have any object in here. Only important thing is to auto animation to work. You need to name them the same in all artboards. Now I'm going to copy this artboard to a new artboard and I will rotate this hammer in our position A to position B. I think like this is okay and let's bring it. Before that, uh, what I will do is let's bring it here. I will copy this one, control C and paste it in here, control V just for a guide. And let's bring this hammer below and let's adjust them properly so that we won't have any odd animation okay looks good i will delete this now all right so we have two artboards in here now i'm going to place a text uh, below i'm just going to place a text for this example and i'm just going to call this one as hammer and we will give the interaction for this text in here okay all right now select the hammer text and go to prototype and let's create a new interaction so interaction is going to be tap trigger and when you tap on it it will auto animate and the destination will be the second artboard you can name the artboard properly if you want and we don't want any easing and the duration i'm going to make it 0 0.6 second all right so let's play and see our animation when you click it will just go like this. Nothing else, it will go and stop. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the easing none to wind up. Now, if you play, you will see this hammer. It's not straight away going without any easing. It, there is a small delay there, which look like a realistic animation. So let's keep it like that for this animation in here. And now I'm going to copy one more artboard from the first artboard and i will delete this one also now we have two artboards with two stages of this uh, hammer now i'm going to make the loop what we need to do is go to prototype and select the artboard not the object artboard and link this artboard to second stage in here and the trigger will be timer and delay i'm going to make it zero second and for easing, I'm going to select bounce. And duration, I'm going to select 0 0.4. Okay, this one I need to be faster than going up. Okay, let's play and see our animation now. When we click on the hammer, it will go up and it will come down very faster. And there is a bounce also. Okay, let's close this. Now let's complete the loop. Go back to the last artboard, second stage, and again select the artboard and make an interaction. And this time it will go back to the previous artboard. Same settings as earlier, but the easing will be wind up, same as earlier, and the duration I will make it 0.6 seconds, same as earlier. Now let's play and see our animation and you will get your loop and we have this cool animation in here. All right, let's say you want to have some depth to this animation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place a circle in here and I will make the color similar to this one and but darker. 
and I will copy this one control C and and place it on the previous artboard control V in here now what I will do is I will make this one smaller and also I will bring down the opacity to 0% alright let's have the stop icon also I'm just going to copy the text from here and paste it in here and rename it as stop okay let's also make the prototype when the button is clicked it will go to the first artboard which is the initial artboard and only thing we need to change is easing to bounce and uh, duration is going to be 0 0.4 okay and let's copy one more from here to the third artboard when you copy any element when you are in prototype stage it will copy with the interaction all right so let's play and see the animation okay cool so we have our looping animation in here it will continue to loop until we press on this stop icon so when i click on the stop icon the animation will stop and when i start again it will start looping until we stop again all right guys that's all about it for today's uh, xd tip thank you for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial